Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southampton, Pennsylvania. It's Thursday, so I thought why not do a th throwback Thursday here. Looking at a 1987 Prowler. Now this thing is older than I am, but this thing is clean. I've seen units only a few years old that have been in a more mess than this is. Take it on the outside, inside, show you some of the unique features. See how some of the uh, times have changed here. Up front, you will have your propane. It's got a power tongue jack on here. Of course, your battery, you're gonna have a flip up shade here that'll cover up your window that you can open up when you get parked still have a nice long manual awning that runs across here the outside still looks in great condition um no major dings dents or anything i mean this thing is old and it's kept up extremely well got a couple storage bins all the graphics still intact here coming around that'll be the back of your fridge you got the furnace tires still look Pretty darn well on here. You got a couple outlets if you hanging out under your awning still. A few windows, your bedroom section's kind of in the middle here. It's a pretty unique setup with the twin beds it has in here. Dual entry, so you're gonna have your two doors to get in. One on the front, one on the back. On the back here, you're still gonna have your bumper with your spare. You got a window back here. Your bathroom is in the back section of this coach. And around the back side, you'll find your water heater, your hookup. I mean, this thing still has pretty much all the same features that uh, you're getting nowadays on a new one. You know, your AC, your cooktop, your fridge, uh, just, just a little bit older fashioned style. But hey, I know some of you might like that. More storage up here in the front. Let's hop up on the inside. Excited to show you what we look like in here. Stepping up right away, you still do have a nice screen door here. Keep the bugs out. Got the nice style flooring, all the cabinetry, almost a nice flower wallpaper look. Oh yeah, this ain't a throwback. I don't know what to tell you here. Your nice dinette that's placed up in the front instead of having a front uh, bedroom. And of course those twin beds I was talking about in the bathroom in the back section which i'll show you here in a bit i'd like to walk you around and show you everything you're going to have all your switches you've got 12 volt hookups here spot for a tv if you want to put it up here some storage as you walk right in and some more storage around nice tall fridge and freezer setup by norcold here i mean look at this this thing is clean 1987 we're talking here folks i have seen 2017s in much worse shape than this here unit. I don't feel any softness in the floors. I've looked around the ceiling. I don't see any major signs of any type of leak or anything. I mean, this thing is held up great. Whoever previously owned this model definitely seemed like they cared about it and took care. Stepping back. Whoa. Carpet. Not seeing that much. Twin beds on either side. You've got storage up above them. Of course, you'll have some cabinets cabinets up above on this side you've got your roof mounted ac here in the front so you have that running we'll hit your back and your front i know we got to see the the sliding door here check out the nice checkerboard pattern here this thing has got style of course got a couple hookups in here with lights underneath nice uh shades that cover the windows here you've got shades up in the front as well these are some drop down, pull down ones. Step into your bathroom section. Still carpeted in the bathroom here. Got your toilet, cabinet. You got a medicine cabinet up above. Nice big wardrobe. If I can get this to open somehow, it's probably latched in a certain way. Drawers down below. Furnace that's run through back here. Your sink, your shower. You got a tub. That tub is deeper than uh, what you find nowadays typically. Throw a curtain on there, you're good to go. You got a mixture between the wood, the flower finishes, the, the other board finish on the back here. You're getting a taste of it all. Got some outlets, your power switches. Spot to put your magazines, because you know that's what you're darn well reading back then. And lighting all throughout the scene. Like I said, this thing is extremely well kept. Galley area, four burner cooktop in an oven plenty of drawers throughout the bottom some storage 
underneath your sink and you've got the double sink with, with the uh with the covers on them hot cold water storage up above your dinette i'll open up one of these so you can get an idea of this oddly shaped thing here that kind of corners down towards the front and you've got your dinette your booth dinette which is nice and long you could probably almost fit three people on either side here and if you make this into a bed space which it will it's gonna be nice and wide fill those cushions in it's gonna be pretty long here for you as well to be able to get some extra sleeping space and then tuck behind that you've got even more storage got outlets all throughout those drop down shades so if you open those up you're gonna get a great view of wherever you're parked at if you're at a nice camp spot with a with a view you're gonna get a great view of all that open up some windows get some great airflow this is the uh, the 87 Prowler here at Fred's RV of Southerton, Pennsylvania. Let's not miss your level readings up in here for your water, your holding tanks, your battery. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any questions on this model, shoot me a message in the comments. Don't be afraid to call out. Ask me. I'll be glad to help. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with my future content. I have plenty coming out here for you folks. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a bunch.